Hello, this is Marichi on my channel Toloka. I am using my Marial Tarot deck to see what situation uh, the sign of uh, Virgo is finding themselves in the month of July. Or probably you are in the situation already. So, uh, behind the deck we have the Hanged Man in reverse. Okay. And uh, the five cards which I've pulled is the two of swords in reverse. Uh, there is a seven of cups and the seven of uh, wands in the center of reading. And uh, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, and uh, the last card is a Six of Wands. So we'll start off with the, uh, with the card behind the deck, which might be the uh, energy which is surrounding this whole situation. Uh, so, so Hanged Man in reverse, okay? You are in a situation where you find yourself in, in a limbo. Um, and uh, there is nothing much you can do about it okay you are um, you are actually thinking about this whole situation to see uh, some kind of a light okay uh, to understand what's go uh, actually going on okay so there is a case of stagnancy there is not much uh, much uh, and there is nothing much being done in the situation to actually change uh, make a change okay uh, I do see um, uh, the case of uh, stagnancy, okay, uh, but this person might be getting uh, some kind of insight while uh, they are uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in this limbo situation, okay, they have the time to think things over, okay, and uh, yes, um, and I also get the feeling uh, that uh, this person cannot do anything about it because uh, there is not much, uh, there is nothing much he can do about it as well. Okay, and uh, yeah, this has something to do with the uh, structure. Okay, with a foundation because uh, right behind, uh, I wouldn't go too much into this uh, into this card. Uh, but yeah, heroin was behind it. Okay, so uh, this is something to do with the structure as well. Okay, uh, a formal structure probably, uh, a foundation. Uh, so yeah, uh, there could be a case where there was some kind of a disruption, and uh, people cannot do much about it. Okay, and they have to wait, wait it out, wait out the phase until some kind of a decision is being made with the two of swords in reverse. I do see uh, some kind of a decision is being made, okay, has been already made, okay, probably after thinking it through, um, yeah, uh, with this phase, uh, with the time which you had, uh, you know, hanging up there, thinking about it, uh, you might have got uh, a lot of insight, okay, on what needs to be done next. And um, uh, with this two of swords uh, starting off the reading, I want to say uh, there is loads of disruption which has happened, okay? Uh, things has fallen apart. Uh, there is this, uh, some kind of a butterfly up here, okay? Uh, but the card is in reverse, so I really say uh, things got heated up, okay, with all the orange up there. Uh, things had got heated, uh, heated up, okay? Things has uh, broken down. Mm, that makes sense with the hierophant uh, behind uh, the signed man. So um, things had fallen apart, um, you know, uh, into bits and pieces, okay? And it might be difficult to uh, uh, put them back in place. Hence, uh, hangman is in reverse since uh, this person cannot do much, uh, nothing much about it, okay? Um, yeah. And I also want to say, uh, somehow, uh, you know, um, uh, things has been, uh, you know, done to an extreme, which made the situation so worse that it has literally burned out the feathers, uh, you know, uh, the wings out of this butterfly, and it has just, you know, uh, uh, burned up and gone up in flames. That bad, okay? This situation might have been that bad uh, that, uh, you know. Uh, uh, it is just not the person uh, falling dead. It is literally burning the person again and again, like uh, putting the person on a grill. Okay, uh, it is it, it is more like I get the energy of a slow death. Okay, that is brutal. Okay, if you really want to kill a person, just kill him with a knife. Okay, uh, it's one. <laughs> I'm not advising you, advocating you 
how to kill a person but i'm saying you know if you burn a person that's going to take a while okay because he is going to his skin is going to melt up and that is literal pain okay that is like putting a person uh, you know a person has to go through hell before uh, you know he calls it um, you know uh, he 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 falls dead okay that is brutal so that is what i'm seeing up here okay with this card uh, this uh, this person uh, is going through a slow death okay and uh, i also want to say whatever he was thinking okay it it, uh, it is going up in flames okay whatever his uh, mental perspective was uh that is being changed because it is going up in flames and uh, he realizes that way of thinking was not uh, right as well okay being in this situation he gets the time to think okay whatever uh his uh, way of uh, you know a perception of uh, a situation was uh that is going up in flames okay uh um uh there is some kind of new insight which is coming through this card okay i see two swords as well going into the back of this butterfly okay uh and yeah it's in reverse so um it is literally some kind of new insights okay once something has uh, deteriorated okay uh, uh you know uh, everything is going up in smoke okay now you can actually see the actual picture okay uh with much more clarity yeah that is also there uh, uh right next to it is the seven of cups card if you see uh, the wolf is uh uh sitting up there and there is a moon uh, right behind it i want to say uh, this is uh, uh, everybody has a dark side okay everybody has a side which they don't want to uh, you know bring it into light okay uh, which this person doesn't want to show others okay this is something which is deep inside uh there is a dark horse inside every man okay i have dark side which i don't want to show you not really all that dark but still okay uh so um this uh, this is the kind of thinking as well okay uh so since th these two cards are uh, sitting to uh, um along each other and uh, the wolf is actually looking at this uh uh two swords in reverse and what i've said okay so this this uh whatever uh, you know dark thoughts this person was having okay that is being shed that is being shed out okay now uh, those thoughts okay those uh inbuilt again okay, uh, um uh, you know perceptions he had about things okay that is going up in flames okay he is having uh, a, a a revelation about uh the whole situation now he is willing to let go of uh, uh, how he used to think okay uh the dark thoughts which he had about this situation is being let go okay that's what i'm getting from this guy uh, also uh, this is something which is deep inside it is deep instilled in a person okay it is hard to let go people cling on to it uh, deep under okay it it will keep coming up every now and then okay it's like the snake which comes out of the you know uh, um uh what is it the sand uh, the sand uh, sand castle yeah uh yeah uh, the head will keep coming out every now and then okay or uh, it is not uh, even if it is uh, you know uh, there is some kind of a new uh, uh, you know a revelation in thoughts there is something which will keep sticking into his soul okay because this is something which he grew up with okay it is not easy to let go okay but i do see this person is ready to uh let go okay of this kind of uh 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 things which was instilled in him he is ready to unlearn things and uh, you know um start over again okay he is uh, willing to let go uh, of his old patterns old behaviors old thought processes he is ready to 
you know, um, uh, you know, transform into what actually works. Okay, yeah. So that is it. Uh, with the seven of wands, uh, it is interesting to notice uh, this. This is the same wolf. Okay. Um, uh, uh, which is uh, the only difference is it is a white wolf and that one is a black wolf. So uh, um, this person is willing to uh, have the moral values intact, okay? Do things uh, which is much more morally acceptable, okay? Uh, he is ready to do things um, um, he is ready to make things right, okay, because he is willing to let go of his old patterns, okay, of how he thought it was right uh, in the past. Now he knows, now he does realize uh, that is not the way forward, okay. He is willing to own it up, okay. There, there, there is so much, um, you know, uh, not clarity, uh, purity. Okay, there is so much purity in this in this uh, wolf's uh, face. Okay, uh, it is like doing the right thing. Okay, moral aspect is important. Okay, he do understand uh, that uh, you know this uh, he this this wolf is righteous. Okay, uh, this wolf is willing to sacrifice for uh, you know uh, for the tribe for the what do you say for the pack okay this this is like a little hero okay this this wolf will do uh, anything okay um, to uh, protect uh, those who are dependent on this uh, on this okay this this one is like a leader okay so this person is coming out uh, to lead the pack okay he is willing to, uh, you know, leave uh, the things which he thought was right. But now he realizes those were not the, you know, way forward. Those were destructive thoughts. He is willing to let go. He is willing to shed the dark, uh, you know, shadows, okay, which was, you know, um, uh, influencing his thoughts. Now he is willing to take this path, okay, to, to lead uh, himself, and even the others who are dependent on this person yeah so uh, it is like uh, very much a person who who will be looked okay who can be put on a pedestal he want to be that person okay so the past is this okay these two cards are the past like what was influencing him what he is willing to let go the shadow the shadows which were following him he is willing to uh, put it in his past okay put it behind closed doors okay and just lock the closet door and that is it that is going to be left left alone okay so that is it there is so much righteousness in this card it's beautiful okay there's so much loyalty as well it's like i am looking at a pet dog okay i would like a dog okay uh, which is like this okay there is so much uh, in in the eyes it is so much there is so much loyalty that this dog would do anything to protect their master okay to protect their tribe if i am the master he, this dog will actually protect my parents, my children, my friends, everybody. Because he is going to be loyal. You can look up to him. You can trust this person. Whatever the case may be. Okay? This person is your right hand. When, uh, uh, you know, it is a time in need, this person is the one who will guide you. Okay? Who will be on your side? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, Ace of Cups uh, in reverse. As I said, Seven of Cups and these two cards are, are mirroring each other. Ace of Cups. Uh, whatever was shadowing you, this is like a moon card. Okay. Uh, things which you were looking inside of you. 
okay things uh, uh, just like i said uh, there is so much darkness inside each one of us which we keep hidden okay which people don't know about okay we which uh, we don't want people to know hmm but yet you actually know about this okay you do know what is going on okay what is secret to everybody else is not a secret to you you will think about it okay now you're ready to be on the righteous path on the straight uh, a straight path what is right for others is right for you that is the way you're going to think you going to think about the other people around you as well i don't know what the situation is about but uh, uh yeah this has to be uh, something about the hierophant for you know it will uh, uh, it will uh, actually resonate with each person okay who is watching this differently okay but this is the basis of the reading ace of cups you're going to let go of all the you know the delusional thoughts which you were hung up with yeah with the uh, uh, seven of uh, cups uh, whatever was you know influencing you the darkest of the darkest secrets which were influencing you which you were you know uh, clinging on okay you are willing to let go of this okay you are willing to let go of this whole um you know uh uh i also want to see uh, uh say uh this card is all about emotions okay and uh, you're actually high up, you know covering your heart as well so now you're willing to put yourself out there in the open okay and you know um actually show others okay that you are uh transforming into a new person okay uh maybe this uh, darkness has actually affected this ace of cups for you okay whatever this ace of cups is for you uh, maybe it is your relationship like the heaven and be, uh, behind maybe it's it's uh, it was affecting the people around you which was near to you okay uh, so whatever uh, uh, the darkness which you were holding on to holding on to now you are letting go of it okay now you're letting go of it because you are having much more insight much more insight to uh you know how things should be okay how people should actually function in reality you actually seeing the reality of things more than what is your emotions okay you're letting go of this because behind the whole card is all this blue and you're willing to uh you know ground yourself okay uh in the actual reality of things okay i also want to say uh some of you out there might have to uh, you know um uh, ground your uh, you know um, uh sacred chakra okay uh that could be useful okay mm. and you need to let go okay uh there there is an energy of uh snipping okay everything which is uh, actually uh, you know uh uh with which you were fixated with in the past okay that is also there now uh, i do see you opening yourself up uh for the people around you to see you have actually transformed okay you are actually putting out your thoughts uh so people actually listen to you okay and do realize that you have changed okay and you do want them to understand you have a new vision that is coming up six of wands excellent card uh this will actually wrap up uh, whatever i was saying earlier uh 
there is so much light in this uh, in this person's eye okay there is so much light there is so much fire okay and if you look at uh, the forehead there is an engrave uh, you know a tattoo kind of thing uh, of uh, uh, it's a sigil okay and uh, this is a sigil which is on the body of every angels out there okay I, I think uh, it might be the um, uh, sigil of the Archangel Michael okay so as I said okay these two cards are going to mirror each other the son of wow slippery cards <laughs> okay uh, these two cards are mirroring each other what did I say about the righteousness okay so this person is going to follow the path okay which is divine yeah uh, there is so much light which is being uh, which is uh, which this person is guided with okay he is bringing light into the life of others as well he's holding on to an error as well which is uh, you know uh, which is emitting all this fire so I, I, I'm saying uh, this this person if he had dragons you know uh, dragons are like the negative uh, uh, especially speaking, uh, it is uh, like, uh, you know, mm, you know, bad energy, okay? So, uh, this, this, this card with this person holding on to this, uh, you know, the arrow, it's like you are willing to slay the dragons, which is, you know, as I said with this card, okay, in reverse, you're willing to slay the dragons, which is like your fears, Okay, you have this fear, uh, demons, which is actually influencing you. Okay, with this card, which I said about the darkness, which is hiding. Okay, you're willing to uh, slay all these dragons, which is actually putting you down. Okay, so that is also there. And if you look at the card uh, behind, uh, behind all these clouds, there is so much, uh, you know, Angels, which is fly, uh, flying around, okay? I'm not sure if it's the angels or the dragons. Uh, yeah, anyways, it seems like it's the dragons which is behind as well, okay? So you're willing to fight everything, okay? Now you see things in a new perspective, okay, with, uh, with the eyes of this. Uh, wolf as well okay now you see uh, with uh, a light and you are being guided with a sigil up your head you are meant to lead the pack okay uh, if you are uh, a person like um, who is intuitive or who, who is divinely blessed as well okay because with the sigil of the head uh, uh, you are somebody who, who who is a born leader okay who is meant to uh, you know lead the pack okay meant to have a tribe follow you so you are living uh, leaving behind all this darkness in your life okay uh, you are being enlightened uh, yeah even the hair of it is like a spiritual regard it's like the church okay I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't actually um, uh, you know uh, say uh, spirituality and uh, a church is the only uh, you know the relationship okay uh, you're actually willing to guide the people who follow you okay you might be uh, blessed with some uh, kind of divination or uh, um, some kind of uh, you know uh, vision that people uh, uh, f for the people uh, it is a light to follow okay you're actually holding the torch for the humanity that's a big thing yeah with the torch yeah with the light you're willing to slay everything okay all the demons everything you as i said here in the sky you are willing to protect whoever follows you as well okay you're showing the light for them okay this is some kind of a reading You like a Mother Teresa? 
Yeah. There is an alligator up here as well. You are actually, uh, you know, holding on to the alligator. So you are not afraid of anything anymore. That's a good card to end with as well. Okay. You have taken the time to transform yourself. You have enlightened, uh, you know, got the enlightenment. Okay. You are like Buddha. Okay. Who has taken a path. Okay. Buddha never wanted so many followers. But all over the world, he's being worshipped. Because of the light which he has, the wisdom which he has, uh, you know, given up to, to the people around. Yeah, there is such enlightenment. Uh, even the hanged man is like sitting under the tree. How did Buddha ha uh, had his enlightenment? It is he was sitting on the tree. This person is hanging, <laughs> hanging down a tree. But uh, yeah, people have their different kinds of meditation. So yeah, you never know how you get your vision. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, a very interesting reading for you guys out there. So, uh, yeah, you're going to transform yourself into a person who will be looked at, who will be put at a pedestal. You are leading the pack. You're holding the torch. Yeah. That is some kind of, you know, it is like the Superman vibe. You have so much responsibility. It's not going to be easy because you cannot have this kind of thinking anymore you need to shed it you need to shed that whole you know your past life needs to be left behind okay now you're you you have so many people dependent on you that you you have a big you know uh, you know it's not actually a burden it's a responsibility which only some Okay, which only some can actually handle and you're ready for it because with these two cards I do see you're ready for it you're willing to you know uh, get rid of anything which is like you know, materialistic or anything of that sort you know, dark thoughts you know, you're actually going to be this again okay? this kind of a leader awesome reading do let me know if it res uh, resonates with any of you. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. This is Marichi, your Machan Triloka. Bye.